kind of stuffed it right in the backfield. Again, direct snap to Sneed. And he again is met at the line of scrimmage. Interestingly enough, I think that was Benico Harley who motioned in from the wide receiver. He's only going to set the standard even higher for what their performance should be once the season starts. Benico Harley in motion, the fake to him. Quarterback will keep it, and Oates ball doesn't get very far. DeVito now faking the option. He keeps it, trying to find a little running room and gets very little. Maybe a yard. Patrick Jones is second there for the stop. In the pit territory, Jordan bounces it outside, but a nice tackle by Jones. 100 yards total offense in addition to that one big play. DeVito now fakes the pitch. He's going to keep it, but gets dragged down from behind. Here's third and long for Cunningham and the Cardinals, and under duress, Patrick Jones will sack him. Well, what with man coverage on the back end, but Malik Cunningham didn't have any time. Look at Patrick Jones just shoving Adonis Boone into the backfield, into the lap of Malik Cunningham. Loss of a half yard, and Cunningham to throw here on second down. Back up into the pocket, and the hit made, Servassier Dennis. Second and ten. Cunningham wants to throw. Here comes some trouble, and Malik Cunningham will not get away from Patrick Jones, Keyshawn Camp, and Rashad Weaver. It's a law firm on the pit defensive front. I have not been able to get that going at all today. Cunningham looking for the quick throw and the sixth sack of the day. And that is Patrick Jones again. Anything going early in the run game. This was a Louisville offense that ran the ball more than everybody in the conference other than Boston College a year ago. Right. Second and eight. We'll call it from the 24. Leary wants to throw. Ball got knocked loose. He picks it back up and he's going to end up taking the sack. That's Patrick Jones and Phil Campbell, the linebacker. Rashad Weaver as well for Pittsburgh. Fresh set of downs for Jakovic. As Garo in the backfield. Out on the pattern. He's in trouble. He's going to go down. Gets rid of the football, and the officials are going to call him down. Patrick Jones, they said Dracovic was down before he threw the ball. I think that's a correct statement. Wouldn't that Some be great? great players on the team. The team that had Mesh 74 jerseys. sacks. 74 sacks in 12 games when they weren't even oh. throwing the ball like they are now. Dracovic in trouble again, and he's going to go down again. To me, they're the best blitzing linebackers the in the ACC. You see Rashad Weaver just pushing back Garwo directly into the quarterback. And then Chase Pine, Cam Bright, all these guys are getting in there on the party. I cannot believe. Flowers now back out in motion. Kovic. Pressure comes from Jones. Flushed out. Still has the football. And he's going to take a sack. Jones was joined that time by Servassier Dennis. What do Dracovic and Signetti have in their pocket? Delayed blitz. Now Dracovic is flushed. He's got nowhere to go, and he's brought down. Jones again. What a huge game Patrick Jones the second is having. This is Phil Dracovic's move. He rolls out. He scrambles back to his left on that rollout move, and there's nothing an offensive lineman can do in that situation when your quarterback is just running out to a well-blocked defensive lineman. Second down and 10 for King. Gives it to Harris. Just nowhere to go. He'll lose a yard as that swarming defense drops him for a loss. Strong runner. Not huge in stature, but is able to make players miss. Harris give him about three. This is just a stingy pit defense when it comes to running the football. If he's on the bench, it's going to be a lot of Jalen Knighton and Cameron Harris. With De'Ara King. Can he get outside? Cannot. Tracked down nicely by Patrick Jones, a second. With seven sacks, he has seven tackles for loss, but he's also able to play the run. See him slow play, and being able to run down De'Ara King is no joke. But you could have two one-loss teams, and then the, the winner of that could decide who's number two in the ACC. They try to get the passing game going. Ian Book without Kevin Austin. They hope to have him today, but he broke his foot again in practice this week. I don't know how long he'll be out, perhaps, for the season. Brian Kelly says the tight ends have been outstanding all year. Here's Chris Tyree again. 
we talked off there. You kind of reminds me of when the Patriots had Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. It's not considered a plum assignment on our terrific crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <mess. laughs> Jafar Armstrong dropped for a two yard loss. Ten yard run, first and goal. And Corbin on first down. Fights to the one. Trying to pick it up. In fact, they've attempted 16 of them on the year already. Fourth and one, and Webb crashes toward the 39 yard line. So. Fourth down, Travis in the pocket and knocked around and sacked. To replace Jordan Travis, and it's Corbin on the carry. Tim Justin. First down, Herbert. The reverse ball on the ground, and Pitt's going to recover the fumble. The exchange between Herbert and Turner went wanting. And Pitt makes a huge play defensively to recover the football in Virginia Tech territory. And we got a flag down. American candidate, the guilty party. Just as I mentioned how bad this footing it is, and, and I've played in Heinz Field in rain, on rainy days, and the footing can be terrible at times. DJ Turner. They got blasted by Notre Dame when Notre Dame was number three. They met earlier this year. Lynn J. Dixon first and goal as he advances to the two-yard line Lawrence under pressure they brought extra men and got there led by Patrick Jones the defensive end fifth-year senior out of Chesapeake Virginia Travis Etienne has done a much better job this year and has been more consistent in pass protection but there I thought he could have could have done a, done a better job really I, I, he just kind of got in the way instead of really getting aggressive and squaring up Patrick Jones with an incredible move. Sims had 93 yards rushing on 17 tries a week ago at NC State. This time it's Mason. 99-yard drive just moments ago for Sims and company. Mason. Couple of picks by Pitt in the first half. Hallett and Pinnock, as James mentioned, with those interceptions. This is Mason again. 16 yards on the play from the 22. Trying to break free up the middle. 